Hey everybody, Steve Ritter back again in the kitchen. Today I'm going to fire up some beef curry in the crock pot. So back crock potting with my old friend, the crock pot. So this recipe that I'm going to make today uh, is for, for four people, four servings. You can half everything. I'll have all the directions and the recipe down below. You can cut everything in half. It scales up real nice. So cut it in half. It's good for two people. But I wanted some extra so that I could take it to work for lunch this week. So get ready to go back to work. I've had a long week off for the Eid. Um, and I found out that the, this, this particular holiday is uh, celebrating the um, uh, Abraham's decision to, uh, to not sacrifice. Well, it chose not to sacrifice Isaac. God provided a ram, and and so it's a it's a big celebration here, um, right up there uh, following the Eid after Ramadan. So this is a this is a big one. So, um, but we've had all week off. I had to work Sunday last Sunday, and I had all week off. So I've made lots of videos. You've probably seen a few of them. So getting back to work, cooking. I'm back here. Like I said, I'm back in another hotel, cooking for myself again, which is great because I was getting a little tired of eating out all the time. So today, I, I was real, I'm really excited about this. I've never cooked Indian food before. Now, this is about as easy as it gets, which I'm all about. So I've got to make some uh, beef, beef curry, like I said. I, I've, I've prepped everything, and I'm just smelling the, I'm getting the smells from the spices and everything else. And that's, that's like, I, I did a lot of work in India Back in 2019, I traveled there quite a bit. That's that's where I did most of my work. I was probably there a total of three months, four months out of that year. Anyway, um, it uh, I loved it. I mean, the, just everything about India. The colors, the spices, the people are so nice and friendly. I just, I loved it over there in India. Uh, it's, monsoon, it's monsoon season right now over there in New Delhi. A buddy of mine sent me a video of people riding a bus and the water washing in and all and uh, it, it's uh, it's it's pretty crazy <laughs> so um, uh, in fact I'll attach that right here <laughs> All right, back. That was pretty crazy, wasn't it? Yeah, and, and the water's got no place to go. It, it, the, the trash collection over there in New Delhi is not, not the best, and the, the gutters clog up, and of course the monsoon rings come, and... Uh, it uh, it just floods. It's it's pretty bad. So I got to see a little bit of that when I was over there too, but not that bad. It's crazy, wasn't it? So back in. Uh, let's get back at it. I'm gonna flip the camera around. All right. So here we go. Crock pot's warming up. Kind of getting a head start. Now, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add. I've got about two pounds of stewed beef. I'm gonna add to the crock pot now. First uh, variation, if if, uh, if you'd like to brown this first uh, for two to three minutes or so, brown it to, uh, to, to kind of, it, uh, it might bring out a little bit more flavor uh, and that's fine. Uh, I'm trying to make this as simple as possible. That's, that's kind of the way I'm going with this. So um, I'm gonna just, this, like I said, it's about, the prep was the toughest part, just cutting it up. So about two pounds, cut in about one inch cubes or so. Uh, trim off some of the big pieces of fat. Um, now the next thing I want to add uh, is I've got some shallots. And, and you could go with 16 shallots. I only had 12. So I kind of augmented with the, with the like a half an onion. So uh, I don't mind that. I love cooking with shallots. It's kind of the... Uh, the uh, nicer uncle of the onion family. Uh, it's not so strong. I've also got six cloves of garlic just crushed. I'm gonna go those go in as well. I've got uh, two. Now 
You could use red chilies. I, I, I couldn't find any red chilies, so I'm going to use green chilies. Two uh, green chilies minced. And then I've got two tablespoons of fresh ginger, which that's the first time I ever bought ginger like that. Normally I buy it in the paste if I buy it at all. I really don't cook with ginger at all, so I'm kind of excited to see what that's going to be like. So all that goes in the pot. And uh, let's see what's next. Um, all right, now we're going to put our... Uh, now I got myself, bought myself a new spatula here, so it's even got the fancy copper handle. Look at that. So, all right. So, first thing I want some uh, one, uh, two uh, t teaspoons of uh, ground turmeric. So I had to go buy myself some measuring spoons also here because I had to. I was just kind of eyeballing it before. So there's a teaspoon. Two teaspoons go in. Hope everybody's doing okay. Appreciate all the kind comments you guys have been leaving and watching. So good two teaspoons go in. Now I want to next I want two tablespoons each of cumin. Cool man. Cumin. <laughs> Those, that goes in two tablespoons. I love cumin. It's good stuff. Then I want some ground coriander. Mmm, that smells good. It smells like exotic, you know. It's, normally I just season stuff with salt, pepper, or garlic or something. It's all these different flavors. I'm, I'm kind of excited to try this. Two big tablespoons of ground coriander. And then I've got this stuff called, uh, it's, they call it garam masala, um, which is basically, uh, it, you can find it if you have an Indian store uh, near you, you might be able to find it, but uh, just for meat masala. But uh, it's got um, garlic, pepper, cumin, uh, cardamom, chilies, um, and fennel clove, and nutmeg, and a whole bunch of other spices. And it smells just like the Indian food that I remember smelling. So two big tablespoons of this go in. Alrighty. Very nice. I'm going to put uh, four tablespoons of tomato puree in here. So I'm just kind of see that I'm trying to... One... Two, if I count it out loud, makes me not mess up. Three, four. Very nice. Then I want a two uh, two pinches of salt and pepper. One, two. little technique with these twist things kind of control a little bit more how much you put in because you never can't tell some grinders are a little bit more than others so I grind it into the cap and then I can kind of go oh okay there's a pinch a little bit more than two pinches well now nah, I like pepper so there you go all right and the last thing that goes in I've got five medium tomatoes chopped. So here they are all chopped up. Those go in. Now one thing you're probably going to notice here is that there's no liquid being added other than the tomato puree-ish. Um, now that, I'm thinking as, as this cooks out, the water's going to cook out of the meat. The water's going to cook out of the tomatoes. The water's going to cook out of the onions and the shallots. And, and it's all going to kind of blend together into a... See, it looks pretty dry right now. I'm hoping that's what's going to happen. Because I did notice that when I was looking at this recipe. You know, kind of modified a bit. There was no liquid added. It's very strange, huh? So I'm thinking 
that this, as it cooks, it'll cook the water out and it'll kind of stew up on its own. Mix this all together. Well, that's it. I'm going to cook this on, on uh, you can either cook it on high for, for four hours or so, or go low for uh, six to eight. So I'm going to go low. I'm going to let this cook all day, and then I'm going to have this for dinner tonight with some rice. So that's it. Like I said. All right, we're back now. It's been about eight hours. It's been on low the whole time. Now, about an hour before that I plan to eat this, I, I mixed two tablespoons of cornstarch with some cold water and poured it in there just to kind of thicken it up. This is how it looks. See, just like I figured, the juice from the, the, juice from the tomatoes and the meat and the vegetables and everything else came out and really made a nice thick stew now so oh man that smells I could smell this coming down the hallway I had some of the this hot hotel staff some of the cleaning guys <laughs> were hanging out by the door a lot cleaning I think they smelled it too boy oh man I could smell it so what I want to do now is I got about um, shoot this is probably three cups of uh, cilantro um, you could use spinach or parsley. I don't want to put all of this in yet. Let me see how this works here. So that's about probably two cups, but this adds some green to it. I'm going to mix this in with it. Now, if you're planning to feed this to your kids too, and you're a little worried about the chili peppers, I got some yogurt and you can mix that in to kind of, to kind of mellow it out a little bit. But you see this, this, Cilantro adds some nice color. Again, if those of you that think cilantro tastes like soap, you could go with spinach or parsley or something like that. I'm going to put a little bit more in there because I like cilantro and I hate to see it go to waste. Kind of mix this all in. I've got a pot of rice going. Mix this in. So I've got the wireless mic going now and uh, I finally figured it out. I took it to the store. I was going to return it, and I told him the problems I was having, and the guy said, well, let me look at it. And he looked at the little metal leads where they have to touch to charge up, and I had not taken the little tape off of them, so the battery died. I hate that. You know, when you go in there, you're like, ah, this thing's broke. And they, and they look at it and go, sir, you didn't take the tape off the leads and I'm like oh oops, sorry okay I guess I'll use it so I'm glad I, I go into the wireless mic here looks very nice smells great I'm gonna go ahead and uh, go ahead and turn it off now and I'm gonna get some rice I'm gonna plate this up and almost time for the big taste can't wait be right back all right we're back so here it is I put a little dollop of, uh, of yogurt on the top here I'm going to kind of mix this in again. This kind of mellows out maybe some of the heat. Um, now, if you want it hotter, you could put a little bit more chili in or use some curry powder. But uh, this, uh, this smells amazing, and I'm pretty fired up about this. So um, if you don't have yogurt, if you don't want to use yogurt, maybe a little bit of sour cream or something like that. But, some, you know, it's kind of mellow it out a little bit, take some of the heat out of it. But uh, I, I saw that about yogurt, and I wanted to try it. So... Oh, this smells amazing. Oh, this just... Mm, 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 mm. Didn't burn my mouth either. Mm, mm. It was the beef. Super tender. Kind of fell all apart. I had to cut it in little one-inch chunks, but cooking in the crock pot like that, it just kind of comes apart. Comes apart. Mm. It's got a nice little heat to it, which I really like. And cilantro is a good mix with it. So again, spinach will give it a nice green color. Some parsley maybe if you don't like cilantro. 
But I definitely recommend putting a little bit of green in it. Oh, that's delicious. I love Indian food. This is a winner. So hope you enjoyed it. This is the Colonel signing off. Look down below for the directions and the ingredients. And we'll see you next time. Take care.